All right, you know the boys from Hard Work Industries have been out here working hard building our test track. Well, one of the really, really cool pieces of kit they got is this Caterpillar D6XE behind me here. What's especially cool about this is that they went out and made sure they could source this just for the job, bought this piece of equipment specifically for this job because this is Caterpillar's hybrid electric dozer. Why don't we do a little walk around? Let's do a little tour. How does this thing work? What are the benefits of it? They've been letting me try this out for really a couple days now, so I've really gotten the feel of this thing. I've ran traditional dozers all the way from the two levers and the cut pad of brake pedals all the way to the newer cats with the paddle shifts off the wheel. Now I've been able to run this hybrid. This is amazing. I got to show you this hybrid technology. Let's have a look at this thing. Spencer Boats. I'm the owner of Hardwick Industries. When I heard about Edison Motors moving to Donald, I reached out and offered my services. I'm an investor with Edison and I wanted to become a part of the project. So we're going to be doing the earthworks, the circle track, the shop pad and the access road for our neighbors. So when I initially talked to the team at Edison and they started laying out that the test track was going to be two to three kilometers long and the shop pad I figured I should upgrade some of my equipment and it was a good excuse to do so. So we bought a 336 with integrated GPS, but really the cool piece that we bought, purposely bought it, is the D6XE to do the dirt work. So the XE has the electric axles. So I purposely wanted the D6XE because the electric axles offer more torque and reliability. CAT offers 20,000 hour warranty, which is far beyond what they do in the standard dozer. There's increased fuel efficiency torque and it's also simpler. So my operators are gonna have a harder time making mistakes switching gears and they just have a more versatile piece of machinery. So part of the reason why I believe in the Edison project and the electric axles and hybrid truck is because CAT and other manufacturers have been doing electric axles for a long time with proven reliability, more torque and increased fuel efficiency. The performance is awesome with the D6XE. It's, the torque is really there throughout the whole range and the fuel efficiency is immediate. We're seeing 20 to 30% increased fuel efficiency. It's also quieter and easier on the operator to operate. Less taxing, it just seems to work really well. To start with, this thing has 90% fewer moving parts than the traditional driveline dozer. It's got electric drives. It's got a cat generator that is literally just a generator powering electric motors that then drive this. Caterpillar was so confident in this drivetrain that this machine comes with a 20,000 hour driveline, electric driveline component warranty. 20,000 hours or seven years. That is unheard of, that they will basically warranty this thing for 20,000 hours. Now to answer one of the questions, yes, the D6XE costs more, but Caterpillar brags through their math that the fuel savings off of running this because of that 35% reduction in fuel and 20% reduction in maintenance cost, they say that the payback period is less than two years on the additional cost, which is one of the things we say at Edison, that yes, the hybrid trucks cost a little bit more, but at 35% fuel savings, you make that additional cost back in less than two years. All right, so the generator, when it does come to service, yes, that 20,000 hour warranty is nice, but when it comes time to do the 10,000 hour service or do a rebuild on these power equipments, they say it's 70% less time and money and parts and labor cost. You can take this cab off in about 30 minutes and under there you have access to the generator. So not only do they have the 20,000 hour warranty, when it does come time to work and service this, they say it's 70% less in cost and maintenance. So going hybrid is definitely one of those things that's gonna pay off in the long run. All right, so let's hop in here. I'm gonna show you how to operate this thing, how it works, how the hybrid controls work, because compared to a old school dozer with the levers and your brake pedals, or if you've driven one of the cat with a paddle shift or even a traditional cat. This works a little bit different. It's a little bit more used to getting used to, but it's really nice when you run it. So let's go through the controls, how this thing works. I'll show you how it goes. Generator started. All right, so to go through the basic controls here, heart break. Hydraulic lockout. If your hydraulic lock is engaged on these machines, you're not gonna be able to do anything. So I can move this control 
nothing happens. I'm gonna turn off that hydraulic lock. Now I have access to my blade. So on our right joystick here, we have our blade controls. This has got a six way blade so I can rotate it right to left. My thumb is going to move it in and out. Of course you got up and down. Off of the right side here. This is where we got the park brake off so I can now engage this. We have our forward. Reverse. This is gonna be our track right. So if I rotate this, it's gonna move right. Rotate this, I'm gonna move to the right. Move to the left. Over here, this is where it's interesting. We have our throttle controls. So that's gonna rev that generator up. So now if we engage it, we're gonna move a little bit quicker. So to start off with, a Caterpillar is a little bit different than a normal thing. So like normal, you have a brake pedal but over here you have what is called a decelerator pedal. So when I step on this, the throttle is off. When I let off on that, the throttle is in. So to start with, we're gonna put this thing into drive. Because my foot is all the way to the floor, we're not gonna start moving. However, when I start moving, now we're gonna start crawling, picking up pace. So it starts off with in a lower gear. Now, this is the gear select lever here. So I'm gonna bump that up. Right now, I am at 0.5. I want to go faster. I can move it up individually. One click moves it up by a point degrees. If I do a hard push on this, you can see that I move it up a little bit more. A harder push from there, it, that is now full gears. Once again, decelerator pedal. If I push that into the floor, I'm going to stop this in reverse all right so one of the interesting things about this machine here is the way the generator works so normally when you step on your decelerator pedal you can hear that engine lug down because you're essentially that's a throttle control it's de-throttling the motor with this one, that generator stays revved up. So this whole time, I don't know if you can hear it on the audio, but my generator isn't changing based on my throttle being pushed in or not. The generator's going at one speed. As I slowly ease onto the throttle on this thing, the generator isn't really increasing or decreasing in RPM. It's running at one smooth, flat speed. This gives me fantastic great ability and controls there's a maneuverability. So with it running at one speed, it means that you're always at your peak RPM. It's one of the advantages to a hybrid is that you're always at peak RPM. So as I come in here and start grabbing a material full blade, you'll watch this. Instead of lugging down, as I'm pushing, this thing is gonna just, I can slow my tracks down a little bit and I'm still applying full torque with that decelerator pedal in. I gotta say, one of the things that is fantastic is your ability to push and move with this. That ability to, normally you got a few gears and you can select your gear and you have max torque at full throttle in that gear. This one, I'm applying that full torque because the electric motors at any road speed, which gives me full power, whether I'm at 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, those tenth of the gears. I'm not being limited in power. I'm not working outside of my. So if I want to push at an exact speed, I can. It's really one of those fantastic things for serviceability or operability in this machine. So I'm going to adjust my speed. Well, let's say a 1.1 right now. As I come into this pile, there you, go. you can feel it lug down. I can slow my speed down. It's not really bogging down. It's not a mechanical transmission. It's not a hydraulic transmission. It's electric drive, which means that as I'm working near the edge of this cliff, because I'm a relatively new cat operator, I want to slow down. I don't want to go hard over the edge of this bank, but I still want to push a good blade width over the edge of this bank. That means that as I come onto my decelerator pedal before tipping off the end, I'm slowing down, but I'm still pushing hard. You can hear that generator is still revved right up. It does, it does sound weird. It takes a little bit of getting used to on that side of things because, well, if I'm revved wide open, I feel like I'm gonna be going full speed. But no, I have full control. I'm just controlling the electric motors with my throttle pedal here, and I'm still getting that full power with every blade full. 
You know, Cat boasts on their website that there's a 50% increase in uh, production with this machine. Talking to some of the other operators from Hard Work, they said it's a D6, but it pushes like a D7. This is honestly one of the easiest cats I've ever ran. Let's go and grab a full blade full here. So you can see they're lugging down. I can slow my speed down here. Normally decelerating, I'd lose that pushing power because I'm going a little bit fast. I was in a, too high of a gear to push that in but I just got onto the decelerator pedal to slow that track speed down and I still could apply full power into that. See, there we go, a little bit too much. So I can slow it down, I'm going too fast. I slow it down and I'm still pushing that nice and evenly over the edge, still pushing, slow my track speed down, that's close enough to the bank for me. Now I get to go over the bank here next. So what I'm going to be doing on this next step is that we need to build the great ability testing um, track for us, which means we got to be able to test how our brakes hold on different hills. So we've got a couple of different requirements. We got to test on a 10% grade. We got to test on a 20% grade, but our customers have their own demand. We have one customer, they demand testing on a 30 and a 40% grade in order to fulfill the contract, which means that this is our best slope hill for controlled slope. So I'm going to start rolling this material off the edge of this bank, nice and gradually. And I'm just going to yeet the dozer off the edge. I am sure that there is experienced operators that would have zero problem just driving this thing right off the edge, but that is not me. I got a couple of nice cuts here. Okay, where do I want it? So I've got a machine and it actually tells me what slope I'm on. So that's 20% right there. So for the 20% grade, I'm gonna try and continue this cut here. 22. 20, yeah, match that slope on the other side. Man, this thing pushes beautifully. I mean, I am pushing downhill, but that was a big jump. <laughs> One thing we were told was make the approach angle light or you get high centered. <laughs> uh, we were talking to some guys and they had a test track uh, for off-road testing and they made their approach angle a little bit too steep and they get their trucks high centered. See, right there, I slowed my speed down. I'm still got full pushing ability. 16%, I gotta steepen this up a bit. There we go. 40%, that is a 40% grade right there. There's that 20% right there. I love that this thing just takes all the guess, like, the fact that it tells me what slope I'm on takes all the guesswork out of running this machine. It's fantastic. Hi guys, my name is Brett Reach. Um, I'm out here helping Hard Work Industries on a project in Donald with the Edison Boys. I've come out here with the experience of running equipment, all kinds of machinery. Been in the field for 15 years. 10 of them was running equipment. Five of them have been supervisor experience. This D6 XE we're sitting in really outperforms lots of pieces of equipment. Like I said, it, it has major track power at all times with them electric drives. It pushes like a D7 would as a D6. So the quietness inside the cab is, is second to none compared to the older machines these days. And with that electric drive, you can barely hear yourself. The quietness in the cab and also the increased productivity of the electric drives is second to none. This machine is incredibly impressive to operate, seeing its performance, the controllability, the selectability of the gears, the way it handles material. I gotta say, this is one of the reasons why hybrid makes sense. The power delivery, the torque, the fuel savings. This machine is a great example of why Edison is gonna keep pushing for hybrid for vocational trucks because if it can be this impressive in a dozer, it's gonna be that impressive in vocational trucks. So, gotta hand it to Caterpillar. They did a great job showing the benefits of hybrid. We just wanted to show it to you. Thanks for watching.